Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Disco Kitty, the Crappy Crafter. Today, we're going to do another beach scene. I know. In an Altoids tin. I have... I don't know how many of these. At least a dozen. At least a dozen. 15, 16, I don't know. I just, I used to work with a woman that would go through like a box every few days and she gave me a whole bunch of them and I was going to, what I was going to do with these was I was going to use polymer clay to decorate the outsides and make little keepsake boxes. Never actually got around to doing that. So we're gonna go and we're gonna make a little beach scene instead. So let's just get right into it. Okay, let's get this going. So we've got some sand and the pebbles that came out of the sand and some craft sand and some little tiny molds and the Altoids tin mm -hmm. and UV resin, of course. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some multicolored fishes. At first I was just gonna make some single color fish and then I was like, you know what? No, I want them to be dual color. So I realized that I had put too much white in that one so we gotta get rid of some and then we'll add some pink and then we'll put some pink on the body of the next fishy and then we'll add some orange to the tail of that one and the fins. I know I didn't put pink on the fins of the, the, the body of the, the first one. That's okay orange and yellow and then the last one will be yellow and white to come full circle yeah I love working with UV resin seriously I mean it's caustic <laughs> or it can be especially if you decide to uh, if you don't just don't get it on your skin don't get it on your skin and if you do get it on your skin clean it up with alcohol or yeah alcohol and then soap and water just it's gross don't get it on your skin you can create you can you you can become very allergic to it and you don't want that so this is the place no the craft sand and some all-purpose sand so that it has a little bit more texture and i've also put a little tiny bit little tiny bit of sand colored uh pigment in there it was the Sophie and Toffee pigment pigment that I had used in the last one. You know, the sand colored one. Uh, let's see. I didn't mix up nearly enough sand. So I mixed up some more sand. And I wanted it to be relatively homogenous. So I, I mixed up the, the first batch with the second batch. And, uh, and then we're going to just press it in with our fingers. Because that actually worked really, really well. It was very dough-like. I used just enough UV resin to make it wet, basically. Wet and pliable a little bit. You don't want it to have too much because if you have too much and then you let it sit for a bit, it will, the resin, the extra resin will pool on top and it just won't, it won't have a good look to it. Now we're going to take all of the little baby pieces out while that cooks in the the UV light going to make some slightly blue probably should have been a little bit more blue but it's okay put one layer down see now I'm doing it smart putting the first layer of critters on the actual bottom and I know I'm I'm just absolutely horrible with trying to get my camera angles how many years have I been doing this? Three years, and I still can't get my camera angles right. Ugh. So here I'm trying desperately not to get fish eyes on top of my UV resin because this this bottle of resin's getting a little old, and that'll happen. It doesn't like to cure up right. So all those fish eyes were just bleh. part of the problem is it cures too fast, which is why I held the light really really far away from it, but it was still just a little bit too much. Here we're going for a second layer. And there's just enough in the cup to make a third layer. 
probably could have used a little bit more for the third layer. The last fish that I make and put in is, is going to kind of ride the top a little bit. That's okay. This time I tried putting the light way far away from it, but it's still fish-eyed. Oh well. It is what it is. That's okay. I mean, I think it came out pretty, pretty well. So I dug out an old mold that is actually meant specifically for fish ponds. It's got two fish pond molds and a couple like four fish molds and a flower mold and I think that's supposed to be a rock and there's a frog and we do the frog and it's got a little lily pad. It's, it's good. It's a nice mold. It worked really really well. I think, I can't quite see it, I think it was a Sophie and Toffee but I don't remember. I should I should use this mold and, and make a proper little fish pond with the fish pond mold, huh? Because we love fish ponds here. Yes, we do. I need to make a mold that has more little fishy styles. I need more little fishy styles. Little miniature fishy styles. These are the only micro fish molds that I can find. Look at how cute that froggy is! Yeah, see, it's just its not quite thick enough to cover him up good. That's okay. Accidentally put that in upside down so you lose some of the texture, but that's alright. The flower is okay, but it could be better. They're very square. The flower and the, the frog have very square, you know, edges. It's weird. Gotta pry open the hinges so we can put the lid back on. Didn't actually adhere the lid, so we gotta do that again. Push the hinges shut. Yes, good, 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 good. And there it is. Hey, do you want an Altoid? Oh, they're fish. Ha 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 ha. But look at how cute it came out. I think it looks great. And there's definitely depth in this one. With the three layers, I think that worked out really, really, really well. And the fishies glow in the dark. Yay. I'm so happy that that worked out. Well, I think that worked out pretty well. Here, do you want an Altoid? Oh, it's got fishies. And a frog. So what do you think? Do you think it came out pretty well? I think it came out pretty well. I, I really wanted to have more of a pond puddle thing going on. So we got beach all the way around and, you know, beach sand down in the bottom so it actually looks, you know, I don't know. What do you think? I think it came out really cute. Let me know in the comments, you know, tell me what you would have done differently. Uh, tell me what else you want to see inside of an Altoids tin because I have like I said I have at least a dozen of these that I was gonna make into things so maybe we can make them into little dioramas I don't know what do you want to see let me know in the comments and until next week stay safe I was an adventure. <laughs>